So I had a little time today and I thought I would bring you along with my little canning project that I'm doing today. So in front of me, I have a jar of pectin that I made last year and I have some apples. So I'm going to make a small batch of applesauce and I thought that I would show you how I make this pectin, this one I made last year. So let's get started. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I just want to thank all my old subscribers and welcome my new subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. So the apples I got are a mix of two different types. You can use any apples that you have that you want for this particular one. Tart or sweet, it doesn't matter. Store broad or in my case, I got them from a local orchard stand. So what you want to do is wash them really good. So no matter where you get them from, you want to wash them really, really good. If they're from the store, you probably want to use some hot water to get that wax layer off. But I did it anyway because I don't know what kind of preservatives or anything they're putting on the apples. So I did that with my apples before I started processing them. So you want to wash them really good and get them ready to start your process which in my case is making apple sauce and from the cores and peels I'm going to make a fruit pectin. So here I have all my apples cut up in my lemon juice and here is my cores and peels ready to go in a pot and I did want to mention that I used this handy dandy core but um, I think it was more work than it was worth. I had to adjust it and get craziness. And then I saw a little green flax. I don't know if my pink's coming off or what, but I just went down to my handy dandy knife in the end. So I'm gonna put my cores um, on the stove and then I'm gonna measure out my apples and put them into my slow cooker, my crock pot, so I can figure out how much of the rest of the ingredients I need. I got 13 cups of apples. I put in two tablespoons of ground cinnamon, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of white sugar, and depending on your apples, some water. I added a cup. So now that I've got all my ingredients into my crock pot, I am going to add a pinch of salt and I will add my lemon juice at the end. Lemon juice ensures that the acidity level is enough so I can water bath these at the end. So I'm going to get this on high. I'm going to do it on high because I want to get this done and I don't want to stand over it. So now to my pectin on the stove. I have my cores and my peels here. And what I'm going to do is going to add water to it. Just covers the apples and the cores. So you just want enough just to barely cover that. So all of it's pretty much submerged in the water and it's not a big batch so I'm not expecting to get a lot of pectin out of this so I'm just adding a little bit more water just a little bit more to cover over my cores and my peels just to make sure everything's covered and then I'm going to bring it to a rapid boil and then I'm going to lower it down to simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour so back to my apple sauce I have everything in here, I've mixed it up and I've put it on high. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put my lid on and just let it cook away. So once it's cooking, I will keep my eye on my pectin and my peels and cores, not quite packed in yet, but it will be soon. And I'm going to remember to add your lemon juice at the end. Some people add it when they're cooking it. I add it at the end. And I just want to show you how much liquid this apples have already leached out. Um, my apples were really juicy and I could tell that when I was peeling them. Juice was going everywhere. So I didn't need as much water. So depending on what apples you use will depend on how much liquid you need to put in there. I put a cup. I probably could have put a little less, maybe not at all, but I put a cup and we'll see how it turns out in the end. So the pectin has been cooking for about 
45 minutes I would say and you do want to keep this boiling until the apples or cores or whatever you're boiling down is soft so you want to do that until it's really soft I checked it by putting a fork through it and it went through pretty easily and you can see that it's really soft so now what I'm gonna do is strain it I have a cheesecloth and a tea towel here that I just use for straining this sort of stuff I don't have but one muslin cloth so I want to use that for the second straining and I have it over my measuring cup and I'm just gonna strain it out so we're just gonna pour it through the cheesecloth and through that tea towel and you want to try and do this where it's not splashing on you because this is quite hot and I'm gonna do this a second time so I can get any little dregs that might have come out in the first draining um, into the liquid try to be as clear as I can get that liquid and you don't want to squeeze it because it will go cloudy you don't want to squeeze your peels so this is my second one I have it over my sifter as well as my it's a flour sack but I call it a muslin cloth and I use this again just for canning nothing else nothing else I use this for so I'm gonna strain it a second time and then I'm going to put it back on to boil bring it up to a rapid boil and then I'm going to test it now I will say the first time I did this it didn't gel and that's what you're looking for for it to gel I boiled it on probably about 20 minutes half an hour and it reduced down to about halfway and it wasn't ready I did test it at that point but it was not ready I tested it the second time I boiled it about another 15 minutes or so tested it and I'll show you that at the end and it was fine so from this big pot well not big probably about three quarts pot of peels and cores I got about half a pot of packed in juice now I need to reduce this down I'm going to reduce it to halfway and test it and then I had to reduce it down even further so that's what I'm doing now so now that I've strained my packed in I'm gonna get it on the medium low heat and that's what I did for about another 15 20 minutes or so and as you can see it's reduced down quite a bit it's probably about half of what it was originally when I first strained it so now that my apples have cooked down the nice and soft and bubbly I did keep my crock pot on high I'm going to start meshing this down as I said I did leave some of the skins on so I might have to do something extra with it I'm gonna start out with a potato masher I kind of like my applesauce to be smooth um, the rest of the family likes it chunky but since I'm making this for myself I'm gonna go smooth so what I did as you can see it is quite smooth just the way I liked it and how I got that Yep, that's my crock pot. Empty. I blended it. I blended this sucker up. Yeah, because it had some skins on it. And I wanted to get those blended up. They were soft, but no, I did not want to have to deal with any skins or anything like that. I like the skins, but I don't want big chunks of skins. And I find smooth works better for me. I can put them in pancakes, muffins. Eat it just like that I like it smooth so if you don't like it smooth I mean yeah if you don't like it smooth you like it sort of chunky don't blend it as much as I did just blend it a little bit or you can use the potato masher some people like it really really chunky just use the potato masher and you're good to go the apple sauce is probably like one of the easiest things you could do to preserve apples probably next to apple pie filling I've done that I have some of that in my pantry my cold storage already so I went to put up for applesauce this year so that's what I did so now that the pectin's about ready I'm going to test it I have a bowl here of just regular rubbing alcohol 70% alcohol rubbing alcohol and about a teaspoon of the pectin so what you want to do is pour it in there and let it sit for a few minutes and what you're looking for is for it to gel 
So while I'm doing that, I'm going to strain this because I saw there was some dragging steel at the bottom of my pot. And I'm using a coffee filter this time. And as you can see, this is a pint size and it's about halfway. So while that's doing that, I'm going to get my applesauce canned up into the jar so I can process that in my water bath canner. And I do have it in pint size because that's what we like. That's what works for our family. And if it doesn't work for you, use whatever size you like. I'm doing it in my pints because that's convenient for me and my family size. So I'm just going to spoon my hot apple sauce into my hot jars, which I sanitize in the oven. And they are going to go in a hot water bath can. I did put my apple... I'm sorry, my lemon juice and my applesauce at the end once it was finished cooking. So from 13 cups of peeled, cored, and chopped apples, I got four pints of applesauce so into my hot water bath canner they go so i have room so i decided to add my little jar of pectin in there as well that should have processed for 10 minutes and the applesauce processes for 20 so here are the results of my second pectin test. As you can see, it's starting to gel. If you look at the fork tines, you can see that little jelly sort of substance on there. And that's the pectin gelling up. And that's what you're looking for. That jelly consistency when you put it into the rubbing alcohol and let it sit for a few minutes. What I got from my 13 cups of apples four pints of applesauce and then my I'm not sure what that is maybe three four quart pot of peels and cores yeah not quite half a pint of pectin I don't know if I'm supposed to store it this way but I'm going to and see what happens maybe I'll use it up before the other ones but that's what it looks like it's a completely different color from the old one that I did yeah it's a lot darker. Um, clearer, but darker. So, yeah, that's what I got. And I will be enjoying this applesauce come winter because I like a little bit of applesauce, a little sweetness every now and then. So that will come in handy. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos.